OpenAI is killing plugins. So all your chat GPT plugins are gonna be going bye-bye soon. And at least for right now, it's a huge mistake. I don't know if OpenAI realizes this, what power that they're currently taking away, but I'm gonna show you. And well, at least you have a couple of weeks to use plugins now to grow your company and grow your career before they're gone. All right, what's going on, y'all? If you're new here, what's up? My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like you and me, not just learn generative AI, but how we can all leverage it to grow our company and grow our career. So if you're new here, thanks for watching this video. If you're watching on YouTube, please like it, subscribe. If it's you know elsewhere uh, you know on LinkedIn, maybe leave me a comment. Let me know, have you used plugins? But you got to use them now because they're going to die soon. All right. So uh, here's here's what's happening. So new plugin conversations will no longer work on March 19th. So right now, uh, one of the modes that you can choose when starting a new chat in ChatGPT is plugins. So come March 20th, you will not be able to do that anymore. Also, come April 9th or April 10th, right? Uh, you will no longer be able to use those old chats that had plugins. All right. This is bad. All right, let me tell you why. So right now, you know, essentially uh, OpenAI is saying, all right, well, hey, uh, now we have GPTs. They're saying right here at the bottom, you can say, this is from their website, just came out. Uh, they said, hey, there was more than a thousand plugins available, but now the GPT store already has hundreds of thousands of GPTs, right? Uh, here's the thing, 90, 90 to 95% of them are, are either garbage or clones. So the good thing about uh, about plugins where they had to go through a certain approval process, which the, means the quality of those plugins was a little higher, right? And if you've used GPTs now, you know that a lot of them just aren't very good, but that's okay. That's not even what the big problem is here. Let's actually take a look at what the big problem is, shall we? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here inside ChatGPT. All right, so I have a plugin pack. All right, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more about what that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, I'm doing this live. This usually works all the time, but hey, plugins are being depreciated. So who knows? It may not work right now, but let's just go ahead and give it a try. So I've already gone through and I, I do something what we teach, which is creating an expert chat uh, inside uh, chat GPT with our prime prompt polish method. That's a free course. We do it all the time. We're gonna have to rebuild it now, but if you want access, just leave course or PPP um, in the uh, in the comments here, and I'll make sure to send it to you. All right, so I have a long prompt here. Don't worry about this. I'm not you know, someone that says use copy and paste prompts. I'm only doing this because we've trained this chat. So we'll see if it even works anymore because it's gonna use three different plugins. All right, so if this works, which uh, hopefully it does, if not, I have a screenshot because this is where the power of chat GPT plugins is. And you do not get this with GPTs, even with mentions. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. All right, so I'm gonna give this uh, give this a second to work. Uh, hopefully it works. While, while we're waiting for that, let me just go ahead and show you what I mean by plugins. So if you're new to use plugins or GPTs, you have to have a chat GPT plus account. So when you click new chat, right? So you get these different options. So you can do the default mode, uh, 3.5, which is free or plugins, right? And then if you want to use GPTs, you can do that by clicking explore GPTs or use them here, right? Uh, so, so here's the thing, all these chats that people have created with plugins, or if you want to create a new chat with plugins, that's going away soon, which really stinks. All right. Uh, let's, let's check back in on our, on our, uh, expert chat here. Let's see, let's see how it did. All right. So, uh, I, I, I was assuming this would happen. So it seems like a lot since a lot of uh, ChatGPT is, has been announcing that plugins are going to be dying for like two to three months, uh, a lot of support has uh, faded. So we're actually going to try this uh, one more time. We'll see if we can't do it live. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, a lot of plugins uh, are no longer supported because OpenAI said back in November that they're no longer going to be supporting plugins moving forward. So, you know, a lot of these uh, kind of expert chats, expert chat plugins that I use in the past are using uh, plugins that maybe either broke or are no longer supported. And a lot of these plugins now just have GPTs. All right. So, well, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to show you. We're going to switch back to our little slide here. All right. So, I saved, I saved what's supposed to happen, but like I said, right now, plugins are dying and they're being depreciated and their support is no longer there. 
But this is what you could do and what you still can do when they're working correctly with plugins. All right. So this is the example of the exact same prompt that I just used that unfortunately it's not working right now because plugins are being weird. But with one prompt, I could essentially have many agents, right? So I'm calling on chat GPT in this prompt and you can see the, the color coding there. So in the yellow, I'm actually uh, giving chat GPT native commands. Uh, this is an older one that uh, hasn't been updated in a while, but it's still relevant, right? Um, and then in the red, I'm giving it access to a PDF and I'm telling it to uh, analyze the PDF. And then in the green, I'm making a call on an export to CSV plugin called Make a Sheet. And then in the red, or sorry, and then in the blue, I'm calling on a diagramming plugin. So essentially, this is what would normally happen when plugins were fully working and fully supported. I could, in one prompt, I could have those plugins work with each other, right? Hey, PDF plugin, go read this. Then GPT, analyze it and tell me these things. Then send all that to the export to CSV plugin. Then from there, let's have the diagramming plugin take that information that the CSV plugin got from the AI PDF plugin. And, and, and you know, uh, GPT is uh, GPT-4 is tying all this together, right? So essentially what we had and currently still have with plugins is you have many agents because they can talk to each other and work with each other. And GPT-4 is kind of pulling the strings and, and uh, orchestrating all of this, right? This, what we've had for the last nine months has been amazing. And this is why I talk about all the time, use plugins. You don't get this with GPTs, all right? So let's see, uh, let's see if it actually finished this up here. Uh, all right, so unfortunately, yeah, because plugins are broken, uh, it's this, this one's not working. But let's just go ahead and, and, and show you this because uh, what OpenAI is saying and what everyone else is saying is, oh, you can just mention these GPTs, right? Uh, so yeah, you can. So I could say, as an example, I could say, you know, using the at, and then I can say, you know, AI PDF. All right. Mentions can be weird sometime. I'm going to go ahead and, and refresh and we'll try it one more time. So as an example, there we go. Okay. I could then, in the same fashion, let's go ahead and, and show you what I mean here. So now I'm in a new uh, chat. So a lot of people are saying, oh, well, hey, Jordan, what you just did uh, or what you could do before plugins are being depreciated is you can still call on these GPTs, right? Yes, but I have to do it all manually, one at a time. So I could, you know, talk to this AI PDF uh, GPT and say, you know, hey, you know, uh, analyze, you know, analyze this PDF, right? Like as an example, I'm going to go ahead and even just use the exact same one that I used in the uh, in the plugins there, right? Uh, we'll see if it even works. So uh, I might have to, um, you know, click allow, right? Okay, so this is one part of the three, okay? So the difference is, so yes, obviously this, this works great, right? But now I have to put in three to four X the amount of effort by using these GPTs to get the same thing out of them because they technically can't work with each other, right? Uh, we, we we literally and still kind of have these mini agents with plugins and plugin packs and combining three of them together. They can all work with each other and talk with each other. So, uh, you know, OpenAI has been telling us, oh, don't worry, you know, you still have GPTs and you can mention different GPTs. Yes, but this is actually now much more manual work to do, do the same thing. So now if I want to send all of this information, you know, to a PDF or, or sorry, to a, a CSV sheet or or to diagram some of this. Now I have to manually do this. I have to go in and say, you know, you know, using the, the diagramming, you know, so there's so many more extra steps now. Uh, I hope that OpenAI changes this. Uh, it's, it's really what I think, and I've been screaming about it for literally eight, eight to 10 months, or gosh, it's almost been a year now since, since plugins came out. As I said, using three plugins at a time, what we call plugin packs is an unfair advantage. So I'm super bummed uh, that OpenAI is killing plugins because they, you know, essentially we did have these mini agents plugins that can talk to each other all in one prompt, right? Without having to have human intervention at each and every step. So can you still do the same things? Yes. It is now going to take four times as long because when you had, uh, you, you know, when you had something like this working, you know, this is honestly, this is 20 to 30 hours that you could do in this, this, uh, 
you know, plug and pack would take about uh, 90 seconds, right? So can I still do that with GPTs? Yes, but instead of 90 seconds, now it's gonna take probably, you know, seven to eight minutes, which is okay. But think of when you scale that to every single thing, right? So much of what we do here at Everyday AI is using plugin packs, right? We've built these little, uh, you know, great, uh, expert chats where all these plugins can talk to each other and autonomously, you know, send information and complete tasks on our behalf without needing a human to guide it every single step of the way. All right. So it's a bummer. However, the plugins that still work, at least, uh, if you have those conversations, they'll work until April 9th. You can still start a new conversation with plugins until March 19th. So it's a bummer. Go go take advantage of this while you can. Yes, some of the plugins, as you just saw, are no longer supported, which means they're breaking, but a lot of the plugins are still great and they still work. All right. I hope this was helpful. If so, let me know. Leave me a comment, but also go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for that free daily newsletter. We do this every day. We keep you up to date. We are actually uh, have a really huge uh, chat GPT show coming, uh, showing you top to bottom how to use chat GPT. It's our most popular podcast we've ever done, but it's like seven to eight months old. So make sure to keep an eye out on that. Thank you for joining me. This is supposed to be an AI in five where we do this in five minutes, but let me know. Do you think this is the right move from OpenAI, killing off plugins? I don't. Let me know. Thanks, y'all.